coronavirus cases from the Delta variant are soaring among children who are back to in-person learning. But a vaccine for younger kids is one step closer to being available. Pfizer just announced that they had looked at the results of a trial in children between 5 and 11 years of age, where they found that the vaccine was well tolerated, that there were no major safety issues, and that the immune response, the antibody response that they saw in the children was comparable to what you would have seen in older individuals. So what does that mean for the vaccine approval process? The next step for Pfizer will be to submit the data to the FDA. The FDA is going to be very cautious, look at all of the adverse events. They're going to look at the immune response. When the FDA has finished reviewing that data, they will then discuss it in public. And after that, the ACIP, or the Advisory Council on Immunization Practice, will then also review the data and decide how best the vaccine can move out to the public use. Pfizer ultimately tested a much lower dose for elementary school-aged children, just a third of the amount that's in each shot given to adolescents and adults. An adage that we always rely on in pediatrics is that children are not simply small adults. Children are very different. Their response to vaccines are different. They may have unusual side effects that you don't see in older individuals. Also importantly, children often have no other illnesses. That means their immune system is much more robust. And the good news is they need a lower dose to get the same immune response that's protective in adults. Medical experts and pediatricians are hopeful that the vaccine will be available before the end of the year. Well, if all looks good, and I, I really want to emphasize it's, it's premature to conclude anything because while we certainly are happy that Pfizer made that announcement, the data have to be looked at very closely by independent experts. If that's the case, we are hopeful that they would be able to come down with a judgment whether the vaccine is indeed safe and should be authorized, hopefully by some time in November. Like Pfizer, Moderna is also testing vaccines for younger children. This is a giant step forward for all of us caring for children, because the last thing we want is to have a vaccine approved for adults and have nothing that we can use to prevent illness in our children.